Your channel was at the forefront of exposing the illegal sandstone mining in Madhya Pradesh. In December last year, our cameras captured brazen violation of mining norms in the state and despite ample visual evidence broadcast by your channel, the Shivrat Singh Chauhan government took no action. And with the mining mafia's hand coming to light yet again in IPS officer Narendra Kumar's murder, BJP government in the state now has some tough questions to answer. It was in December 2011 that Times now travelled to Ground Zero in Madhya Pradesh, trying to uncover the truth behind illegal mining in the state. Our cameras captured shocking images of the blatant violation of every guideline against illegal mining. Look close enough. Men with guns, goons of the mafia, standing guard as brazen illegal quarrying goes on. But despite the visual evidence, the Shivraj Singh Chauhan government took no action. Because this is not today and tomorrow, right? And this is not one month of the eyes. These are the eyes of the year, or the eyes of the year, or the eyes of the year, or the eyes of the year. And now, two months later, the chilling murder of IPS officer Narendra Kumar, allegedly by the mining mafia, has come as a slap on the face of the state government. करीब से जुड़े हुए जितने भी माफिया हैं उनके उनको हर स्तर पर शिकंजे में कसने की कोशिश पिछले वर्षों से लगातार जारी है। Despite the visual proof and eyewitness accounts, the mining minister shockingly still claiming the government is investigating the illegal mining mafia. We are in Bamor district, Gwalior, the place where Narendra Kumar Singh, the IPS officer, was mowed down in broad daylight. These are the common people of this area. Let's ask them, what really went down? Before it was happening, there were many people who came here. They were stopping the people of the tractor, but they didn't stop the people of the tractor. A brave officer of the Indian police service crushed to death for daring to raise his voice against the mafia. If the government had acted in December, after visual evidence of the plundering was broadcast by Times Now, Narendra Kumar would have been alive. The question is, despite the furor after the Times Now expose, what made the Shivraj Singh Chauhan government turn a blind eye? And is the mining mafia so powerful in the state that not even the chief minister can act against it? Bureau report, Times Now.